Hello there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now I hope you've had a chance to look at my video on Wi-Fi extenders, also my video on mesh networking. And what I want to do today is add one crucial tip to that video about Wi-Fi extenders, telling you how you can double, triple, maybe even more, increase the speed of your internet connection when you are connecting via one of those Wi-Fi extenders. But if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So before we crack onto this, really do want to point out that it is important that you've probably watched that video on Wi-Fi extenders. I've got maybe five or six videos about Wi-Fi in general, including mesh networking, Wi-Fi terminology, Wi-Fi 6, uh, all here on this channel. So if you need some background information, understand some of the terms I'm going to use, that will be the place to find it out. Now, here I have in my pocket one of those Wi-Fi extenders that I was talking about. And of course, the idea is you it connects to your existing Wi-Fi network. You can connect to it and then it kind of talks to both networks, as I explained in that video, and allows you to extend the range of your network. Now, the key thing about many models, including this one, is here at the bottom, there is actually an Ethernet connector. So you can actually use a wired cable on one of these to get better connectivity. So how does that work? When you connect to it using an Ethernet cable, there is a configuration that you can do, and I'll show you how to do it on this particular model uh, in a moment. There's a configuration you can do where you can turn it from a Wi-Fi extender into a Wi-Fi access point. And that means what you're really doing is you're creating a new Wi-Fi network somewhere out else in your house, in your uh, property, and you're creating that network and it's connecting over an Ethernet cable then to your existing network. So let's just show you the steps you need to do on this particular model. It'll be the same on most of them. The ideas are the same. Obviously, the interface and so on will be different. So you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so the extender is plugged into the mains and there's also an Ethernet cable plugged into the extender. Now, for this particular model, you still have to connect over its Wi-Fi network to be able to do the administration. So I've connected to the default Wi-Fi uh, network which was tender underbar underscore uh, ext and then there's a default address that you get a default url you can type in your web browser to bring up the administration interface each uh, extender will be slightly different but the principles will remain the same now as you can see here this would be how you would normally configure the extender as a wi-fi extender like i covered in the other video but if you notice here up at the top it says switch mode and if i click on that it says well do you want this to be a repeater a wi-fi extender or do you want to turn it into ap mode and ap means their access point and that's what i want to do i want to turn it into an access point now before i click here notice here this part here has got the wi-fi sit sign so the connection between the extender and your router or modem is over uh, a wireless network if we click now on ap mode we can see that now changes to a straight line, in other words, a cable. So it's now saying if you're in this mode, you need a cable that runs from your extender to your router modem. That's what we want, so we'll confirm that. Now at this point, you are now able to set up the extender as if it was any kind of access point. What SSD do you want? You know, so here it's given us that default one, as I mentioned earlier, tender underbar underscore ext. You know, we, we could put anything we like in here, you know, office something like that, and then I could set the uh, Wi-Fi password so that only certain people can connect uh, to it. So I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very, very strong hint, don't use that password. And now I can click done, and it's now going to go away and configure that. Okay, so there you go, it says it has successfully created it. There is now an office Wi-Fi network with the password 12345678, not very secure. And so now if we connect to that new office network that we've created, then when your smartphone or your laptop sends data towards the internet, it will go down the cable into your modem or router or into whatever other switch that you've got in your network and then out onto the internet. Now, before we talk about performance advantages, it is worth pointing out that networking is always about end to end. So that means if I'm sending, uh, you know, kind of a request to a web server that's on the other side of the world 
and it's mega mega busy if it takes a few seconds to send me back whatever it is i want you know uh, photos from google photos or or whatever a download i'm ma making then of course that's got nothing to do with what you're doing locally that's to do with load at the other end and also at the same time if you've got a problem somewhere in your network for example at some point all your network goes through a 10 megabit a second uh, switch for example an old old one an old ethernet switch then that's going to be the bottleneck so remember it's always end to end but considering end to end let's see what performances we can get from an access point that's connected via a cable so as just a reminder when i was using this wi-fi extender in wi-fi mode in the kitchen in my house the most i could get connecting all the way back across the house to my uh, router modem was 23% of the overall bandwidth. So here, when I'm right next to it, I get 100%, and by the time I move through a few rooms, the maximum I can get is 23%. What I did was I connected up the, uh, the extender using a cable directly into my uh, modem router, and then what happened, I was actually getting 90% of the overall speed uh, and that's likely just to do with the fact this is a very very cheap wi-fi extender and it's doing its best but i've gone from 23 percent so what's that it doubled tripled even more i'm now getting near 100 percent of the uh, connectivity that i would get if i was standing in the same room next to my actual wi-fi router Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Space. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains. I also have a newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com. Type in your email address. You won't get any spam, but you will get the newsletter. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.